How to create shapes with glowing edges in DaVinci Resolve 18.0.2. Inside your project's edit window, go to Effects. Underneath Toolbox, select Effects and go to add a Fusion Composition clip to your timeline. Click and drag at the end of your Fusion Composition clip with the Selection Mode tool to adjust the length if you wish. Right click on your new Fusion Composition clip and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside your Fusion Nodes panel, go to select either a Rectangle, Ellipse or Polygon tool from the Nodes options. Here in this example I will use the Ellipse tool. If you were to use the Polygon tool, select either the left or right view options underneath this new node to preview your new shape in the Fusion window. With the Click Append option selected, click on the canvas to add points for your new polygon shape. Hold the mouse button down and drag your cursor if you wish to add curvature to the line between the points that you add. Holding Ctrl or Command if you're a Mac user and press Z to undo if you make a mistake. Back to my project with the Ellipse tool, I will now go to select a background option from the Nodes panel. We will use this new node to add colour to our glowing edges. With this background node selected, go to Inspector and underneath Colour, double click on the box next to Colour under Background to open up the Colour Selection window. When selecting your colour option, avoid selecting colour options with saturation levels higher than 230 as it will be difficult to distinguish a glowing animation effect that we will add to our edges later on in this tutorial. The hexadecimal code that I will use for this colour will be hash 1C60FF. Click OK once you've selected your colour. Click on the grey box to the right of ellipse 1 and drag your mouse cursor down to the blue effect mask arrow to the left of background 1 to make a connection. With background 1 selected, hold in shift and press space. Use the search box at the bottom to find the Edge Detect tool. Select this and go to click on Add. This new tool should be automatically connected to Background 1 via the yellow Source arrow. I will also select the Right View option underneath the Edge Detect node to preview this on the Fusion window. With Edge Detect selected, go to Inspector and underneath Controls to increase the stroke of the edge of your shape, increment the value for Edge Width. Here in this example, I will increase this value to 0.35. To apply the glowing animation effect to our shape, the value for brightness needs to change throughout our video clip. Ensure that you are at the start of your video clip. In this particular example here, it will be frame zero. Decrease brightness slightly to 2.2. Select the keyframe diamond icon next to brightness. And now shift forward on your fusion timeline to just under a second of screen duration. By default, a Fusion Composition clip in DaVinci Resolve will have a frame rate of 24. In this particular example, I'll skip forward to frame 19 and change brightness to 3.5 to make the edges more vibrant than before. I will advance forward by 20 more frames to 39 and reduce the brightness value to its original number 2.2 so that the glowing and dimming durations are consistent throughout. In order to have this glowing effect repeat throughout your video without having to add additional keyframes, select Spline. Go to tick the Edge Detect 1 option underneath the Spline label. Use the bottom scroll bar to be able to see all the keyframes that you have applied to this video clip by dragging this to the left. And repeat the same for the top Zoom X and Y options so that each of the keyframe blocks become noticeable on screen. Click and highlight with your mouse cursor to select all of these and go to click on Set Loop to have the brightness modification repeat throughout this video. Click on Spline again to close this graph. Increment Gamma to 2 so that the glow effect isn't too intense and increment Blur from 0 to 0 0.2 to avoid the shape edge from appearing too solidified. With Edge 1 still selected Hold in Shift and press Space again, and go to add a Glow tool. Increase Glow Size to 15 to spread the colour of the blurred glow from the shape edge out further. Increase Glow slightly to 0.85 to make a whiteness on the shape edge line slightly more significant. And to add more of a gentle blur to your glow, increment Blend to 0.22. With Glow 1 still selected, hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add a Merge tool. 
Globe One should automatically be connected to Merge One via the yellow background arrow, enabling us to place text within our shape in the next part of this tutorial. Deselect your nodes by clicking anywhere on the empty nodes grid, hold and shift and press space, and go to add a text plus tool. With this node selected and set to right view preview, go to inspector and underneath text, type in the message that you wish to have appear on your video clip within the frame of the shape. Select your desired font and font size with additional styles if necessary, such as extra bold italic here, for example. Deselect text one, go to add a new background tool, connect text one to this with background two selected. Under inspector and color, double click on the black color box under background and choose the color option that you wish to apply to your text. In this example, I will use B165FF. To make the text outline stand out, once the edge detect effect is applied, I will reduce the alpha value here to zero. With background two selected, hold and shift and press space, and go to add a second edge detect tool. Under inspector for this new tool, Increase edge width to 0.32, increase brightness to 3, and set gamma to 2 to apply a glow effect using the color shade that you selected for the background 2 node. Connect edge detect 2 to your green arrow for merge 1 so that your text will appear in the shape's foreground. Return to the text node if you wish to adjust the size or position of your text using the layout option. The center X and Y coordinates can be modified here as you wish. You can also add additional shape outlines to your original shape node. In this example, I will deselect my nodes and I will select a rectangle tool, which I can then connect to the back of ellipse one using the effect mask arrow. With right view selected underneath merge one and with rectangle one selected, I can see that both the rectangle and ellipse shapes have merged together. I will increase the width of this rectangle tool to 0.6 so that my text fits inside. At present, the black shade within my glowing edge shape will obscure any video clip or images appearing on video tracks below in my DaVinci Resolve project. In order to make this transparent, I will first make sure that the Merge 1 tool is selected, hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add Delta Kia, which should be automatically connected via the input yellow arrow. With this new Delta Kia tool selected with right view preview, under inspector, click on the selection tool next to the gray reference box. Hold your mouse cursor down and drag this to the black shade which appears on your video preview. Let go of your mouse button once this shade disappears. In order to adjust the positioning and size of your new glowing shape, with Delta Kia selected, hold in shift and press space once more, and go to add a transform XF tool. Using this new tool with the right view preview, adjust the size value, angle, and center X and Y coordinates as you wish. Click on the reset button in the top right corner of your inspector window to apply all the default settings once again. Connect transform one to media out one. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.